What's up everyone? As you can see, I got a nice fresh haircut. The sides are nice and clean. Uh, I just got a haircut this past weekend and it definitely feels like it's a weight off my shoulders. So the place that uh, I got food from today is called Momo Noodles. So believe it or not, I go to this gym called Planet Fitness in Daily City and I occasionally see this food truck uh, parked there sometimes and I always wanted to try it out. I looked at the pictures, it looked pretty good. And uh, when it came uh, at my doorstep, it smelled delicious. So pretty much what I got here today is some uh, some noodles along with some spicy pork as well. Got some fresh scallions right on top and fried garlic too. And I believe this is like uh, some fungus of some sort. And it smells like a delicious uh, uh, hot oil soaked noodle dish right here. So let's get right into it. And I also got this melt tea right here. It looks kind of bougie. Uh, Lan Feng Yan. Uh, I'm pronoun mispronouncing it probably, but it looks pretty good. But let's try this smoke tea out real quick. Ooh, pretty good. I like it. I'm not sure where you can buy this, but you know, maybe I'll be on the lookout. This is like this quality milk tea right here is pretty good, like on par with like the milk tea you would find at restaurants. So then I'll probably try to look for this somewhere. But yeah, let's try these noodles out. It looks good. And then yes, the anime season for the summer is upon us. There's a lot of, uh, I'm, I recently created another YouTube channel as well. I'm gonna be doing K-pop reactions and I also made a Patreon too where you can watch uh, my anime uh, reactions for certain series. But later on in this video, we'll be getting to God of High School, which uh, I'm a series that I'm super pumped about. And I'm sure many other manhwa readers are out there are excited about this new journey too. Mmm. Oh, these noodles are fire. So I got a little little kick to it with the Sichuan chili oil, I believe. And they got uh, not a lot of flavors, flavors going on. Oh, they also have, I believe, some fried garlic pieces as well, which has a little nice crunch to it too. Mm-hmm. And the noodles are very thin. Um, cooked like al dente. Make sure these noodles for like any chili oil noodle dish or any I mean any noodle uh, dish with sauce in it. You gotta mix it well. Make sure all the noodles are immersed in uh, that delicious sauce. It's uh, marinating in. Mm -hmm. See that? Woo! I'm not gonna take a big bite like that. I'm, in Korean dramas, is it really true that they actually Korean people eat uh, with such big mouthfuls at once? Let's go. I'm sure Ben Dean could eat this in within like five bites, I'm sure. But I like, I know people like eat, they eat real, their food real fast, but I'm a, I'm a slow eater. I can't eat that quickly, but that means I like to enjoy my food more, right? Every bite, I savor that much more. Okay, so now let's get to the good stuff. We'll be talking about my first impressions about God of High School, episode one. So I'm not a manhwa reader at all. I'm going in blind. I haven't read any spoilers at, or anything at all. So let's get right into it. So the episode opens up with like two fat, or no, two rich dudes living their best lives on a beach, uh, talking to this individual. I believe his name is Park Mu Jin. 
and they're trying to bribe him of some sort and trying to blackmail him that if you don't comply to our demands that we'll release all these allegations and stuff like that and Park Mewjin is not moving a budge and as soon as he hangs up it appears that he definitely has some sort of special ability he has a he has, he has like a cross on the palm of his hand and I believe he he did he uh, placed his hand on top of the table and I believe it had the same impact and there was a cross on the island where these two individuals are at and I believe they're squashed by his power of some sort. So hopefully later on in the series we can see Park Mugen's uh, abilities as well. And then now then we transition over it gets into the opening song now i'm not like a big fan of the song maybe if i listen to it a couple more times it may uh, catch my interest more but the it's it's definitely dubstep type of vibes i'm not into i'm not particularly oh excuse me oh jeez i'm not particularly too big a fan of dubstep so it's just not my thing and but now we get introduced to our main characters as well. So Jin Mori is a young man who I believe they give a little introduction of his past. I kind of see some resemblances from other series. So as a young boy, uh, he's crying and it seems like he had a rough childhood and may have been maybe of an outcast of some sort, maybe uh, a resemblance to Naruto. Uh, then an old man looking figure who appeared to be looked like a Jiraiya, uh, but it was actually his grandpa. And uh, his grandpa walks away from him in, in his dream. And Jin is having bad dreams. And right then and there, he's waking up on the day of this tournament called the God of High School. So, and then we also get introduced to some of the characters as well. So, right after the introduction of Jin Mori, we, we get. Uh, introduced to Han Dehui. I'm not. I'm not pronouncing him probably. I'm sorry, but uh, he's working at a convenience store, and it appears that he's struggling to make money and meet ends meet. So, you know, uh, we see you know these characters early on in the episode, and they really uh, give a little background right from the get go, which I really like. And then now we get introduced to our third character, whose name is Yu Mira, I believe. And she uh, definitely is um, has to do with some sort of sword uh, style of some sort. And she comes across these really buff dudes. And she kind of looks at their muscles and she said, you know, I like guys with uh, who appear to be strong. And it's kind of ironic, right? Usually in anime, it's the other way, uh, other way around. Gone guys fall fawning over uh, girls, if that matter. But in this case, it's... Uh, uh, the girl um, fawning over the guys. So, uh, on the way, Jin Mori, on this day of the tournament, it's unfortunate he sees an old lady getting taken advantage of, and there's a motorcyclist that has actually stolen this old grandma's purse. And he feels he's, he's a really good guy. That's what I'm getting from uh, in this first episode. And he decides to chase after this motorcyclist. And eventually... He uh, comes across uh, Yumira uh, along the river, I believe, and he crashes. He crashes his motor uh, bike into. I'm sorry. He crashes his bike into Yumira's face, and then Yumira gets all agitated. She somehow she kind of beats up Jin a little bit, but then she sympathizes with him, uh, saying that he's trying to catch this uh, robber. And then she decides to tag along in this crazy uh, chase after this uh, robber. Okay, so before we talk about the rest, let's uh, get some more tea here. So, okay, after eating a couple bites of these noodles, I'm getting that little tingling sensation that you would normally feel if you eat in like spicy. I'm getting Sichuan type of oil uh, uh, taste buds on my tongue right now. It's feeling a little tingling. But this dish is not particularly too spicy. It's just tolerable for me. But, you know, everyone's different, right? But it's just perfect for me. But I'm getting that little... Oh, you see this noodle right here? Oh, gotta reach for it. Okay. Woo! Got it.
Mm -hmm. I think there's a little sesame oil paste, sesame oil in here as well. In that little um, peanutty flavor in there. This is the okay. Th at first, I thought uh, looking out from the uh, takeout box, it didn't seem like that much food. But again, you know me, I don't eat that much. But actually, you know, after eating more, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But once again, I mean, you're not. It's good to you know portion control of how much you eat, but. You know, honestly, uh, I'm fortunate enough to be like skinny and I have, a, I guess, maybe decent genetics uh, that I'm not too too overweight. So, you know, I can maybe afford the calories a little bit more, but it doesn't mean that I shouldn't work out, right? Uh, I still, I've been going on runs uh, frequently as well. I need to stay in shape. You can't just like eat all this food, this bad food for you and just let it sit in your body, right? Okay, so getting back to the high speed high speed chase uh, with Jin and Mira on his bicycle. Uh, Mira is about to, I believe she says moon style something of some sort. I, I believe that's her uh, family's sword style. And as just about as, and when she was about to strike the motorcyclist, a sign was in her way and she just ate it. Definitely, I felt her pain when she faced, oops, excuse me, face palmed against a sign but luckily uh day hui comes in to save the day comes out he comes out of nowhere like this is crazy a motorcycle is coming full speed and he punches him right in the face uh in the helmet uh in the robber's helmet and shatters it completely so right then and there these three characters uh all right, uh, meet each other for the first time, and I feel like they're gonna become best friends uh, throughout the series. So now, everyone, these three individuals individuals are obviously part uh, taking part in the God of High School tournament. So now all of them end up going to this uh, arena area, and here are the rules explained. So this is an all style martial art tournament. Tournament. There is no timer. Uh, no limitations and weapons are allowed as well since you know Mira has, is a sword wielder right and you can win by knockout or if the other party surrenders now this this uh, part of the God of High School uh, is is the preliminary so this is not the official one yet so I believe uh, if in one month's time the official national God of High School tournament will take place in uh, Korea so and of course this big tournament has to have some incentive right so there whoever wins the tournament gets a wish granted by the administrator which seems very interesting now i thought that these preliminaries would be one-on-one -on -one, but right from the get-go it's just a battle royale a free-for-all everyone's out for themselves so here we get to learn what characters really stand out so there's, I believe there's some Tai Chi user of some sort. Uh, there's this girl that uses uh, wrestling. And then <laughs> there's this guy with glasses who's reading a book and he just uses a swinging a metal bat. So I'm not sure if he actually has any martial arts skills as well. But our other three main characters showcase a little of his talents as well. So Dae Hui, he, he definitely seems very strong. Like he uses one punch, just like One Punch Man in reference to that. Uh, knocking out his opponents. And then uh, Mira is uh, a prominent uh, moon style sword user uh, as well. And then my boy Jin Mira, the main character, which I really like his character design. It's nothing too crazy. It kind of seems kind of simple, but his eyes are shaped like stars. And I like his uh, personality too. He's just like a uh, fun dude, upbeat, and good guy. That's what I get from him. And like these these other participants thinking Jin looks like easy target, but 
can't judge a book by its cover, right? He puts in that work and he, destroy, he destroys uh, many other participants right on the spot. Now, as this uh, battle royale is going on, there's a new character that's introduced that joins the fray. So this guy, uh, the announcer says that he's going to be on handicap, so I guess he's, he's pretty dang strong. And he can't use his hands uh, whatsoever and can only use his feet. So this guy, like, as soon as he enters the ring, you know he's different. He... He's he, he's knocking people people out left and right with it, just using his feet. So eventually, Mira challenges this individual, and he, you know she's even struggling against him. So I believe the guy just takes the sword from Mira using his like uh, his toes. And but you know I did not expect this from Mira. She's not only a sword wielder, but she also has some hand to hand combat martial. Uh, arts uh, experience as well so she she kind of surprised me there a little bit and then oh gosh right at the end of episode one uh, Jin steps into the fray right help trying to help Mira out and just as about and just as it was about to get good you, you best believe just like any other anime k-drama or tv series right they cut it right off at the end to, ju to just reel you in <clears throat> so Wow, my first impressions of God of High School episode one. It was it was good. Uh, it definitely caught my attention. Uh, usually episode ones or first couple episodes for some series may be kind of slow, but I felt like uh, they just jumped right into it with action. What I wanted from a true martial arts anime, which they didn't you know go on and on and talk about trying to get into uh, what tournament water they actually started a tournament from episode one so that was really cool and then the ed song oh my gosh i love this song so it's a it's a boy band i believe they came out maybe one or two years ago i believe they're called cix and the song is called win i've been putting that song on repeat and i've been just banging to it uh while i'm uh, going out for my jogs a definitely good song and then both the ed and op song are both in english but the ed song has multiple versions as well i really like that so yeah definitely check out uh, cix i you know maybe in some reaction videos since i like this this song of god of high school probably do some reactions to their other music too so god of high school episode one we're in quite for a ride guys so I definitely recommend you guys, you know, at least try watching the first episode, see if it's for you. And I believe the the episode two should be coming out later, sometime soon. I'll do a reaction to that as well. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Oh man, I'll get around to finishing this hopefully. But you know, Momo noodles. Uh, if you want a quick bite to eat, and uh, the, it's it's a, it's pretty pretty reasonable as well. I definitely recommend. And I just got the noodle dish with spicy pork. And I believe the menu is not too extensive, which I really like. So you don't have to keep on thinking about, oh, what should I get? So, but the one I got here today is noodles with spicy pork. Simple enough. But yeah, um, hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, definitely look out for some more content. I created a YouTube, another YouTube channel for K-pop reactions for now, mostly. And I also created a Patreon where I'll do reactions on um, K-pop. Uh, exclusive stuff on there as well and a lot of anime reactions on there too so yeah thank you for watching peace